Jack, I had the most amazing dream. There was a city in the sky. Oh yeah? I was there for six days. How, how surreal was the dream? Uh, it was very strange. There were lots of bird people. And they were all inbred. It was a tiny oh. island community. Uh, did you, uh, did... I see. Um, how, how weird, uh, was this, was your dream? Uh, it was pretty weird. You ever play Mario Odyssey? Yeah. It was kind of like that. I see. Okay, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty weird. Like yeah. Jack. So, between the last stream and this stream, I did the entirety of Skyward Sword, so, uh... You maniac. You absolute fucking mad lad. I doubted him. I didn't think he could do it, but... How long did I, you say I, your last stream took? Like, eight hours? It, uh, some, someone told me, oh, you got, like, four hours left, but they had forgotten <laughs> about an entire chunk of the game. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> seven and a half, eight hours for the final stream. I really wanted to, I wanted to finish this before I did that, but, uh, in the absence of that, I at least wanted it to all be in, like, one chunk so that, like, the playlist didn't bounce back and forth between the two. Mm. Uh, I did find out what we were missing last time. Yeah. So, as, as seems to happen a lot with these, anytime we do, like, a brand new randomizer that we don't really know, that we've never done before, we always get fucked in some way by just some quirk of that specific randomizer we just, we wouldn't know about. Yeah, some, and in this one, you want to explain it? Yeah, you, you can probably explain it better than I could. So, we made two mistakes. The first was, I forgot that, I guess I must have set the remains to be in dungeons, because they've all been in dungeons so far. The second one was that, apparently, uh, we didn't quite understand how progressive shields work. So, I thought that, uh, for Ocarina of Time, like, all the shields in the game would be progressive. Like, wh wherever they were, the third one we got would be the mirror shield. But that's not true. That is not how it works. Because it's right up there! How it works <laughs> is that there are three progressive shields total, and then, like, 20 just Deku and Hylian shields. Fake shields. As that are just, like, stock items for I, yeah, replacing if you lose one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's what fucked us. So we, we saw this at, like, the very start of the run and saw a progressive shield. Those are going to be everywhere. This this can wait. This isn't urgent right now. <laughs> and we promptly never came back here again. Yes. So uh, this is where the mirror shield has been all along. Right mm -hmm. under our noses. Yep. And uh, had we known that and had we gone to the dungeons earlier, we probably could have, like, cut two or three hours off of this playthrough, if not more. <laughs> Perhaps the same could be said of all randomizers. Yeah. It's a learning experience. Uh, so, but also, since the last stream, they have come out with a multi-world for this. Oh, they have? Yeah. Wait, multi-world? Like, mu like, uh, multiplayer? As in, not like mod loader, like we did, but, uh, multi-world is, like, multiple people play their own versions of the randomizer, but the items for everyone can be scrambled up between different worlds oh, okay so, so you, like you have three timelines i have three timelines darian has three timelines there's nine timelines and any item could be in any one of them what you know what? Mul Mul <laughs> too many timelines we got nine links so running much, around so it sounds fucking bonkers oh <laughs> uh, okay so let, let me open my little text document where were we going we have the mirror shield oh there's another thing that, uh, I kind of messed up. Yeah? Do you remember that, uh, that grotto that had apparently nothing in it? Oh, the Deco Baba? Yeah, the, the Bio Baba Grotto. I was getting a little confused because I had played the, uh, All Rupee Randomizer in this so much. I thought that this grotto had a heart piece in the bottom. And it had a, uh... And it had, like, a rupee check in one of those nests. No, it has a heart piece in one nest and a rupee in another nest. <laughs> Damn. Uh, which is kind of a dick move on the Majora part. Like, who puts a heart piece in one of these things? No one's gonna look there. You have arrows, use those. I know, I... I Jack, I just spent a week in Skyward Sword. I'm trying to get used to not using, like, my stick for my sword. 
That's why I randomly pulled a bomb out. I'm reminded... I'm reminded of, uh, of that one video City 11 did where he was playing, like, uh, Serious Sam. Yeah. All of them. And he just edited it in such a way where he's just going from one game to the other. <laughs> and sometimes he would go to, like, other unrelated, like... Anyway, yeah. And just, like, it's just you just, like... What it's such a to... different game than than these. I have to readapt to the controls again. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that uh, was a nothing check Scott anyway, Sword, but the, what he the, like the that comment he kept making was that um we would often make the comparison, and I would keep telling him like the thing with the HD version, the Switch version, was that oddly enough, I feel like there's a couple instances where the motion controls actually play better than the buttons. I'm watching Vinny's playthrough of it now, and he's saying about the same thing. There are places where the motion controls are better, and there are places where the controller is better. Apparently, like, the tightrope walking is awful in motion controls. It is. Oh, jeez. It really is. The uh, Beetle, so, he didn't like motion controls for. So, so, Rupor. I never found one. I never found a Rupor. But somebody was able to... They, they, we know they exist. They must exist in the game. I, I just totally never forgot. saw it. I did like the game. I, I actually liked it more than, than uh, Twilight Princess. In fact, I booted it up today and I played some more just for fun. Oh, I didn't do really? that with Twilight Princess. They're, okay, the Rupor <laughs> is only found in a like a mini game. Okay. Oh. But so, okay, it still so added Rupors to the Zelda really universe. <laughs> it's... And they and then they realized it was a stupid idea and they never did it again. My my thumb is going to that right stick to try to swing my sword. It's doing it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, cause yeah, the the, the 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 way the sword swinging works just looks incredibly jank. Like you're just sitting there doing side swipes over and I over. I saw again it the way cuts over and the over way again. he had it. I saw it the way he had it set up. It was always sticking forward, like Link was using some it kind of funky fighting style. Too. Yeah. Now, that, anytime you that. have your sword out, he'll hold it wherever your like yeah. motion control or stick is. It's it's just hanging out in front of you. It does that in the original version too, and it just looks so awkward. <laughs> yeah. But if you said you liked it better than Twilight Princess, it's like a glowing review. You we I, at least I despise Twilight Princess at the very. <laughs> yeah. To be. Although you, I wonder how much of you hating that was me just being me and just and it and, and me and my bad attitude being infectious to you. I had mixed feelings on the game before we started for Twilight Princess. Yeah, but you never played Skyward Sword, and you were, I guess, pleasantly surprised. I like color. I, I like a world that is like inviting and pleasant to be in. Twilight Sword, mm. Twilight Princess is not that. You like color. Skyward Sword also feels just more alive. I've noticed with with revisiting it because I told this to Zorog. I haven't played the game since 2012 when I last beat it, and I just had like a bunch of just bad memories with it because I thought it was overly long. I guess it's just because I didn't like the Lanier Desert too much. I was like, oh man, this is going on way too long. I hate the desert. I don't want to be here anymore. Desert I levels kinda... and water levels are just very difficult to pull off in games. Yeah. But um, I, I I remember telling them. He's like, yeah, it just, it just felt longer to me when I was younger, I guess. But in retrospect, after watching him stream it, it's not that bad. The pacing and the length of the game is not too bad. Although you do have to revisit each area three times. There's a you lot of revisiting in the game. You will have to do that. Like, There's like three mm -hmm. main areas and you have to revisit them three times. But it's still not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's all, all right, You're doing but, different things there every time as well. Yeah. Okay. It does change up a little bit. But um, it does, the world being... does feel a bit more alive because the hub area, Skylocked, uh, there's like this shopkeeper area, like the bazaar, and each shopkeeper has like their own designated house that they live in, and you can go <laughs> visit them and everything like that. that. That's cool. I like when they add like little bits of life to the characters like so that. So, how many how many points were there, uh, Zelrog, where I would have. Where you know, I, if I was there, I would have been like, I would have been like yelling at you. Fucking constantly. <laughs> you would have hated I, being there. I, I, I got <laughs> stuck in everything. Like that. Th that was not only like, it was not only some frustrating control aspects. It's a really hard Zelda game. 
I, just... I struggled with a lot of the dungeon puzzles. Oh yeah, that game is chock full of puzzles. It is a very puzzle heavy game. Which isn't a bad thing. Zelda games are yeah. usually like super crazy easy, so. Yeah. It's just, but it's bizarre to me because it's also the game where they were trying to like get the casual to grandma players in because of the then, Wii. Well, they, they tried to get them casual grandma players in and then it's like, hey, this is what Zelda's like. This Gertrude, is what it... have you played this new Zelda game? It's only for the hardcore. <laughs> also, I'm glad that I can finally have Zorok see just how bad of a companion V was, or I'm sorry, Phi. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of figured, I, I expected that. I, have a... I'm, I like, because growing up on the internet for so long, you, you're so used to hearing people bitch about Navi being annoying, but I'm like, no, you, you never played Skyward Sword. You don't know nothing about annoying and useless. Until Navi you has the decency to, at the very least, to speak only when spoken to. <laughs> Except in the it... Deku tree, but... Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes she's like, she's She's like, it's only for information that's like really, really like important. All right, what's the boss? Uh, Twin Rova. And now we can actually fight her. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you got the mirror shield. It's crazy how the most useful NPCs in the game were like the fortune teller and not the actual companion that we actually were assigned with. She has uh, like a full menu of like 12 options yeah. that you can ask her about. Like in minute detail, what do you want to ask me about, Master? And every single one is useless every single time. Like advice, hints, rumors, objective, and they all say just variations of the same useless thing. And it's all like incredibly obvious stuff. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna Z target. The Z target makes this boss harder. For fight, at least was she. Was her person was she like what personality? Just, she's a computer. She's literally just an AI. She talks she's to She's trying her best. She's like it's, it's you know, you guys are like ragging on her. She was at least trying her best. Like is that like she was like chat GPT just or maybe she was. Is that she now, chat GPT would have more personality than Phi. <laughs> Phi is the kind of companion that you, 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 you see the obvious solution to a puzzle, or even a cutscene will show you what just happened, and then Phi will pop out of your sword and be like, Master, there's a 90% chance that you will need to bomb this wall. Jack, do you remember the character in Steven Universe, like the off-color Sapphire, that stated yeah. exactly what had just happened every time? <laughs> Captain Hindsight! <laughs> that's, yes, that's Phi. That's what she popped for Acha. On one hand, I'm glad I didn't like watch it because I I don't want because it, it sounds like I would have just given you hell and I don't like being that kind of person. On the I other hand, I kind of I, I on the other hand, Fi was Fi sounds funny as hell. Just <laughs> I would have enjoyed there were at least there were at least a couple. It sounds like the kind of character you. Of, it sounds of, like the kind of character you would have hated and I would have loved. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> prototype, maybe. Maybe Master Sword Fi, because it's it, that's the the twist, right? That uh, that that she's the Master Sword. Yeah, and she never wakes up ever again. She goes to sleep and she never comes out or talks ever again. Because <laughs> she's useful for being a sword. It, all this other like intelligence gathering shit, she's just like not good at. I think we broke her. I think we made fun of her too much, and she just stopped. <laughs> decided to stop talking. She's good at only one thing: being a sword. She doesn't know how to handle all this like non-sword shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to handle like being a sword, uh, like nothing a sword. I'm gonna try to at least seem <laughs> useful. I don't like. There this were at boss. least a couple. Th there, there were a couple moments during the playthrough where I feel like I would have had a Jack moment, like especially during I was, I think it was like the first tier trial he had to go through. Mm -hmm. He was looking for the last tier, and he was he was like, man, where is it? Where is it? And he just would not look up. But I saw it in the sky at least a few times. I'm like, I see the beacon. It's right there. You just need to look up, dude. You need to look up. No one looks up in video games. They're, yeah, no one. Even when they should. Like, to be fair, like, did, didn't uh, didn't Skyward Sword come out like way before Portal? Or was, oh, it was that like a little 2011? bit after? 2011? 2012? Yeah, 2011. Uh, 2012? No fucking way Skyward Sword came out in 2012. That that seems way too late. Hold on. It was at, uh, it was at, like, Comic Con, it was at E3 2011. Okay. Alright, that, so, 2012 at the earliest. And Portal... Ow. Portal probably came out in 2008. 
2007. Yeah, no, these guys should have learned their Nintendo should have learned their fucking lesson. There was a really bad like I think in the end like the first temple they put a really bad like uh, switch at the first temple entrance and you had to look straight up to see it. <laughs> yeah, the puzzle solving sounds like insufferable. Although to be fair, if you handle if you think those puzzles are hard, you should probably play Baba is You and see how. But no, you probably watch a playthrough that it ruined the puzzles for you, probably. Muted. No, I'm not muted. Okay. No, Hello? we're just ignoring you. Why are you ignoring me? <laughs> you fucking... I, I trying... don't think I've ever done worse on this boss. I don't think this has ever taken so long. Yeah, this, uh... This boss seems a bit, um... There we go. Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I, there we go. I was going to say, why did, why did it miss? I think, I think it's just... I don't know, I, yeah, I've never, I don't remember ever having any, like, major problems with this boss, but, you know, I don't. Skyward Sword is definitely probably, like, my top five in my Zelda games. It's, it's a really solid game, and I, you gotta give them credit. For it being a game that requires motion controls, they actually, they did really good. Like, there, it's not often you can say that there's, like, a good game that requires motion controls, but Skyward Sword is definitely one of them. They did as well as they possibly could with the goal of making a motion control Zelda game. You know what? Go go play Link's crossbow training and get back to I think they I did it better. <laughs> just... I've been that game for years. I mean, it's just a shooter, but, like, with a crossbow, you shoot. Right, it's a shooter. Thing. It's not a Zelda game. I had more fun with Link's crossbow training than I did with with Twilight Princess. That is that a is that a knock against Twilight Princess or a yes it is it okay. is a jab against Twilight Princess because that was meant. Matter of fact, I think I saw um, a Did You Know gaming video about them talking about it. Apparently, the reception for Twi for uh, Link's crossbow training was so good that they actually were considering just ditching uh, Twilight Princess in favor of it. For, like, oh. <laughs> For making a sequel to uh, Link's Crossbow Training. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> Man, why, why you gotta why you gotta attack the nice lady? She she seems she seems a uh, pretty. Uh... See, that's that's another thing. This could have been a, also a really good Dark Souls boss style boss if. Uh... Okay, I thought I had the big Goron out. I... Goron, I have the Master Sword out. You should probably just keep to that. Because navigating the menus, you'll you'd probably not be good. So we have two dungeons to check. We have this, and we have the Spirit Temple, which we both were missing the Mirror Shield for. Yeah. This could be a very short stream. We we could get our final. Yeah, I mean, thing in we 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 pretty much ran all of our resources dry. We were like on like one or two checks left in the entirety of both games. So I think oh. there's not much left. Yeah. Do the other one. Love them Nintendo Wait. bosses. Just wait and wait and counterattack. Granted, you have to deal with the motion controls, but because of that, the combat was like probably the most advanced and most yeah. difficult in any Zelda game for Skyward Sword. That, yeah, I saw the combat uh, when you were fighting Gearham in the one, the one of the two streams I uh, watched it on that. That seemed like, uh, if motion controls aside, that would have been pretty, uh, that would have been pretty interesting to try. It's pretty creative. I, I do like the aspect of, like, most enemies and bosses being centered around it to where you actually have to swing your sword in a specific direction. I kind of like that. It's the most yeah, dynamic that... Zelda combat, but that's just a low bar. Yeah. Um... We need a Dark Souls motion controls game. You know what's funny is that there was actually a game that did that kind of, like, uh, dynamic sword combat years and years before uh, before uh, Skyward Sword did that, but didn't using the motion controls, they used a number pad. Yeah. It's called, uh, it's a game called Die by the Sword. It's, what, is, uh, it, I think what it's, is it on? It was on PC. It was a, it was like one of those like uh, 3D games. It's Nobody's ever talked about it. I want, I want like somebody like Grimbeard or somebody to talk about it, because that game is like, oh man. Or, alright. I'm trying to like Stunlocker. I can't. No, please.
Yeah, it was uh, it was third person, uh, like dungeon crawler slash like uh, action game, and uh, that's my that was my first introduction to Kobolds. Was yeah. That game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, there was a setting you need to do it with the number key, or you could use you can use your mouse. And and the guy was it was uh, was aggressively Scottish. Okay, that's a good descriptor. Aggressively Scottish. Yeah, he is Scottish accent. He's like, ah, but the nosh. It was fucking crazy just how Scottish that dude was. Give us the remains. Then you died. Oh, you know how uh, how we uh, talked about uh, Venture Brothers having a movie? Yeah. Guess who else is having a movie? Who? Metalocalypse. Okay, wow. a new one. Metalocalypse, Army of the Doomstar. Okay, there was already Had like Doomstar of... Requiem was like the finale, wasn't it? Yeah. No, there, uh, there, there's. I guess there's a. Uh, they're they're just deciding. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna finish off. Uh... Yeah, a bunch of Adult Swim shows are getting movies recently. Aqua Teen Hunger Force had one recently. They already uh, had a movie. Rose. Yeah, no, they had one recently, like just recently. Yeah, I know they right. had one before. We really be rebooting recently. everything. <laughs> what the fuck so are you? Remain... What? Uh. Oh. What? It's, it's just like a warp flame. Oh, because the. Normally, okay. the temple dumps you out back here after oh, you beat it. I guess this right. is a way to get there without, like, with dungeons randomized. That's a check. Wait, so could you did you do the monkey? No, the monkey check is junk, right? Monkey check? Yeah. yeah no, you, the monkey check the, is yeah. junk. I don't think I get anything for saving the princess other than the butler race, which is out of logic. Yeah. Then okay. Don't bother. All right then. We put her in just yeah. because. It was a 90s PC, PC game, had an expansion called Limb from Limb. Yeah. Chat is familiar. The... Yep. 98. I think, if I'm correct, I think you can sell her to the curiosity shop owner, right? No, I think I've tried. No. It's either them or the... Her or the Zora eggs. Maybe you can't sell either. I think you could sell the Zora eggs. It's one of the two. I do remember, because it is a, it's a fucked up implication, but... Uh... Let me double check. All right. Well, that was Snowhead, which means now the uh... Spirit Temple's the final dungeon. Yeah, Spirit Temple. The mountains are also clear, so we can get all the spring checks if we need them. It uh, is possible to sell a Zora egg to the Curiosity Shop for twenty rupees each. <laughs> twenty rupees. <laughs> man, slave trade isn't what it used to be. Oh uh, man. That's got a weigh on your conscience. Die by the Sword has had a successor on Dreamcast called Draconis Cult of the Worm. Okay. I apparently said the right thing. I'm just summoning a whole bunch of uh, Die by the Sword lore. Okay, so he'll buy the eggs, but he won't buy the Deku Princess. Okay. I have some standards, you piece of shit. <laughs> he also won't buy the Seahorse. Okay. What is- what- okay, there's another flame here. What is this? Does this go to the temple? Or is that a check to turn on the turtle? It's gotta be. It is. Wait, what? what? It, okay, it's it just- it's gone back it, to being an island. I guess. What? what the hell? I don't know why those would need to exist. Oh, I know what that is. That sets it to the temple cleared state. So oh, that we don't okay. have to, like, do the temple again. That also means I can't go to go, go to Great Bay now. God damn it. <laughs> Unless, maybe he'll still take me. No? no? You're just an island now? Well, I just saved, so let me just reset. I guess that's convenient if you don't want to, like, do the whole dungeon again. You just yeah. touch a flame. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was about to say, uh, sorry, I, I muted myself temporarily. Sorry about that. Um, I, uh, I was about to say, yeah, that seemed like those, like, what? How far back? 
No, I just saved in Majora. And yet you're here. It always starts in Ocarina. Yeah. Okay. I guess to uh, set the uh, time limit. I think you would have liked Skyward Sword anyway, because, yeah, Jack, there's, there's a whole segment where you are just hanging around like robot pirates. <laughs> there are, in fact, robot pirates in the game. Why isn't he working? What? <laughs> I, I need to I need to summon the turtle. Hold on, I gotta play the song. Okay. Yeah, it's right. Robot pirates with time shifting. Yeah, you're in a desert with like time shifting mechanics. It's so weird. I saw the time shifting shit, but you didn't get. We didn't get to the robot pirates. Robot pirate robot. Yar. Hey, Derry, did you 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 know about the whole thing with original Dragon Ball and the pirate robot? Right? I, I did tell the story of pirate yeah, robot. Mentioned, yeah, he he did it's mention so, that on stream. So funny, just shiver me timbers. Fuck the. They added that. Is not piratey enough? We need. I, you know, I don't think it's because they wanted the robot to be more piratey. I think it's because they think American kids have no attention span, and every time it cuts to the robot, it's just like five seconds of it staring at the camera. That'd actually be creepier than, like, just... They thought, no, this is too much silence. We gotta put something in here. Yo ho ho. They did that in Yu-Gi-Oh! At the ver like the final arc, there was a big silent final explosion with, like, 15 seconds of silence. And they inserted, like, a Kaiba monologue or something in English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we call that double-log when there's nothing there and they just they stick something in in the dub. Yeah, just to... Uh... How much uh, double log was there for the Digimon series, you think? They really tried to... I, I don't think there was a lot of moments of silence in the Japanese version, but they really, like, crammed a lot into the English dub. They were yeah. constantly jabbering and doing one-liners. <laughs> I wonder if I've heard Pokemon had any, like, dramatic silent moments like that. Dragon Ball Z as well. Uh, they added a bunch of dialogue to certain... Like when, uh, when, Fre when Frieza was like telling Goku, Hey Goku, your shoes are untied. I don't have shoelaces. Darn. That was one of them. Apparently, I, I think I think from what Saucy told me, I think Sonic X does that too at the very end. Oh yeah? There's like a scene where uh, Sonic and Amy are like hugging it out and... Amy, I guess in the Japanese version, there's no dialogue, but in the English version, they have her talking. What did, what did they, what did she say? Just, you know, like, oh, I missed you, and like, I, like, something like that, just her being all, being all hy hysterical. I was having this con- Go on. I was having this conversation with, uh, Zelrog yesterday, and, uh, about... How we all rag on people like Yamcha, but in all a probability, if Yamcha exists in our world, he could kick our asses. So Easily. we should probably stop that. <laughs> I mean, in like any other Shonen series, Yamcha would be the strongest character. I, yeah, and I feel like a lot of people tend to forget about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, he's Yamcha. He's so lame. And then, oh no, it's Yamcha. It's <laughs> the shit out of him. It doesn't help what? that Toriyama kind of jumped on the, the like the Yamcha make fun and make fun of bandwagon. Yeah. As of Super. Yeah. There's that manga somebody made uh, that's apparently like an official spinoff where a guy gets reincarnated as Yamcha after he dies. And yeah. he decides he's going to make sure that Yamcha doesn't fall into his meme status. This is an so actual that, manga tour I, I know, I was signed off on. That's not weird. It's the fact that it's official that is weird. <laughs> Those things actually like attack you or do they just kind of like... They spit fireballs. Oh. Not fast enough. Yeah, just like... Well, Tori Toriyama seems like a kind of like a not manga author that doesn't take himself too seriously. He really doesn't. No, like, I think so. he's even gone on record saying that sometimes... Like, he doesn't check his notes. He doesn't reread his own work. There was a point in time where he said that he forgot what the Super Saiyan transformations were. He didn't know what Super Saiyan 3 looked like, or even okay. what Super Saiyan 2 looked like. He kept mixing them up 
at some point because I said he, he doesn't take himself it. seriously. I didn't say that that he was like shit, but yeah, when you put it like that, he's also he's also a uh, kind of forgetful writer. He I mean, that's always been the case. He do, he just doesn't yeah. <laughs> he doesn't take his work that seriously. No. I have the biggest like 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 one of the biggest like Japanese franchises ever that expanded to the to the rest of the world. Eh, who fucking cares? <laughs> it's 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 an interesting dichotomy. Uh, yeah, uh, I love it. Darian pointed out during the Skyward Sword streams that apparently uh, the Hyrule Historia like came out in conjunction with Skyward Sword. Yeah, because oh, they yeah? were really trying Cause... to push like the timeline and everything as a selling point. We gotta yeah, make sure all this like whole... all these fucking games and shit makes sense. Yeah, it was the whole, like, because both of those, it was, like, the whole thing was, like, commemorating the Zelda 25th anniversary, so both of those things came out in conjunction with each other. And, yeah, that was the uh, turning point where Nintendo gave us the official Zelda timeline. Yep. And it had me wondering if maybe the fact that Skyward Sword was kind of got a mixed response had something to do with them not really caring about that anymore. <laughs> oh, people don't want continuity. Okay. Well, yeah. you had your chance at continuity like years and years ago, but you fucked it all up. You, 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 it's, it's a situation where people would have cared about it, but I think at that point it was too little too late. Wait, they, what do you mean, like Ocarina? Like Ocarina, you had a chance for like some level of like continuity from the 3D, because the, the 2D stuff, I could admit, like, okay, that stuff is like back in the day. It's probably, you can just like maybe ignore that. And then, and then, oh, hey. So then, after uh, Ocarina of Time, you went to Majora's Mask, and then Twilight Princess, before it was called Twilight Princess, it was the, uh, because it was, uh, so they released Wind Waker after, uh, after Majora's Mask, and then that was implied that Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time were in same continuity, and then it was, it also implied that, like, the Twilight Princess was originally going to be, like, the midpoint between the two, seeing how, like, shit fell. And people were excited about that, and then they didn't. Ha and then I, I remember losing interest when I when I realized that they weren't going to be doing that. And I'm like, oh, you're just going to be doing your own separate thing, okay? I Whatever. don't. Was that like advertised for Twilight Princess? I don't remember yeah, that. Have you not seen the early trailer? There, let me let me find it. Uh, I Gary, can't watch you know it what right I'm talking about? Second, but Gary, do you I, know what I'm talking? I think so, because I think I remember a like a vague point in time where like. It's like, oh, returning bosses like Goma, and like, I'm like, okay. Twilight Princess was more uh, a response to Wind Waker not doing well, so they kind of... Wanted to go back to, not like... Not fully, the... but they, like, undid Wind Waker and made Twilight reference Ocarina and Majora a lot. Yeah. It's got Kakariko Village. It's got Death Mountain. It's got a Hyrule Field. It's got the Song of Healing. It's got, look, the yeah. Link is a skeleton. Blades will bleed. Shields will shatter. George. 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 Zorgo of the jungle. Oh my god. The fucking E3 2004 trailer is what I'm talking about. And oh my god, it looks like utter trash. <laughs> uh, like the demo? Yeah, well... It's not a demo. It's it's just a tr it's just a teaser. I uh, Darren, I've linked it in case you want to like take a look. Jorg. Man, I only got one hit on him. I should uh, you know what? I got fear steedy. I should use that. I forgot that they uh, that they stopped the timeline. That they stopped time in uh, in uh, boss you're rooms. doing a boss battle. Yeah. Boss rooms take place in a realm out of time. Also gotta love the fact that, yeah, once again, Majora's Mask and Skyward Sword have more time travel mechanics than Ocarina of Time does. They do. There's a <laughs> lot of time travel stuff in, in Skyward Sword. Time dimensions. Did that kill him? No, uh, activated phase two. Oh. Which to us means nothing. Where are you? Where'd he go? There he is. He is becoming the fierce deity. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm... I... Go you know how I'm, I'm... Hey, you killed him. You know how I'm just kind of like very absent-minded with the stuff I've seen? Sometimes it's it just so, pops into my head. It's so dark. 
like oh the trailer yeah <laughs> it's so dark and like the contrast is so like god like you can tell like man they really 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 wanted to crank up the edge be like look guys look it's not wind waker anymore look we're back to being realistic again look everything's dark and muted there's no color anymore nintendo, you guys nintendo, happy? There, nintendo it is. there it is we're, we're nice. go time Nintendo was were getting their ass kicked by like God of War and shit, and they were like, "Okay, we'll do we'll do the same thing." And at some point, they just kind of backed out. Backed out. I, I can go. I can barely even see anything in that trailer. Everything every other. It's so is shitty, so right? <laughs> that was that was the trend at the time. Everyone was hyped on realism, <laughs> but realism and like dark fantasy, I guess. Yeah. Well, nice. We all the remains. Uh, guess we're about to wrap this up. I guess so. Yeah. We got all we need. We got, even got the Fierce Deity Mask. Yep. In the fight. Alright. Go on. Yeah, so, so that was my theory that they were going to do like a... But, they had like... What was it? They only had, like, what, two games that came out after Skyward Sword? There was a link between Worlds and, uh, like, what, Four Swords Adventures? Before Breath of the Wild? Yeah, before Breath of the Wild, there was, like, yeah. And this is why I say that the co they never really gave a shit about continuity, because they did a sequel to uh, Link to the Past, which was Link Between Worlds, and... Or re sequel, remake, I don't even know. See, that's how little like, they, they give a shit, they and they got somebody to take all the stuff that's practically disconnected. Like, where does that though? They all, they where's... do reference like other games constantly in the series, in the mainline entries specifically. The handheld games are always kind of just afterthoughts. Which is why does Hyrule Story include the handheld games as well in their shit? It does. Yeah. It tries to. Okay. Yeah. So. I, I don't know why you've you've like you're determined to be mad at this series, no matter what anyone says to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just stating it how I see it. Like, like emotions aren't aren't like a factor. I'm just saying that from from what I've experienced of the series and from what and how Nintendo treats it, it just doesn't seem like they give they they if only they cared when people shit realize that some people care. Yeah, they they do though. They have made attempts to they they fluctuate. They do that and then. They stop. That's what. That's what's frustrating. And then, yeah, yeah no, like I think um, it's they inconsistent. Recently, yeah, like that. Like we're basically saying the same thing. Yeah. Because I so, think because even, even like Zalrog pointed this out on stream. I think it was yesterday, the day, the day before, that uh, even AG Alnuma said that sometimes he doesn't even take the timeline too seriously. Yeah. I think he Which said means, that about Breath of the Wild specifically because he like he felt it was limiting creatively. Which, Which I, is why Breath I don't agree with. And Breath of the Wild is supposed to take place at, like, the end of the timeline. Just all of them. According the to who, though? Like, did them. he just, like, throw that out as a quick answer? You know what? This series this series should have been just an anthology series. Like, you have no. a, like, a, a person named, like, you have a princess named Zelda. No, and I disagree. Have a villain named... I love I... the overarching lore. I want them to care about it. I want them to be consistent with it. What overarching lore? What do you like, mean? What it exists? <laughs> kind of. It's not no, not they kind of. To. They explicitly, like Twilight Princess, explicitly references the Hero of Time and the shit that happened in Ocarina of Time. Link to the Past references Ocarina of Time, ex post facto, granted, but there are explicit ties. They try to connect them. They, you say try over and over because you know that I'm, they're not... That's to emphasize that they do put an effort in. What you're saying is they don't care at all. Some, they don't try yeah, ever sometimes. at all. Yeah, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. Like, I just feel like they're they're playing to their weaknesses and not to their strengths as, like, des as like lore designers when they... Because if they really care that much about, like... Thanks, Skull Kid. If they... I'll let you play the thing. If they really care that much about like uh, about like overarching lore, they would have each game seamlessly flow into the next one, as opposed to just it feeling basically like a whole it new story. And then sometimes that. they no, it doesn't it, need to be a linear sequential line. They just need to be consistent, is what I would like. Yeah, and they're not consistent. I know and, they're uh, not. We're saying the same thing, but we both want them to go in completely opposite directions. By the sound yeah, of it, 
Yeah, that's yeah. You you are correct. You want it to be like more like a more interconnected like story, and I want it to be an anthology series. That's basically. It seems that's like that's not what an anthology record. series is, though. Like completely ignoring all the other entries. That makes there's what no the, point in being fuck? a series. Then you see that you see that shit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. There's a weird tree. The tree is weird. <laughs> The if they're it's, not it's, it's, connected to each other at all, then why is it even a series? Why are they not just totally different games, different IPs? What's the point? Uh, yeah, fuck Black Mirror. Fuck Twilight Zone. <laughs> fuck American Horror Story. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you can, you Those can are a series of themes. unrelated... That's just a frame for, like, a series of short stories and stuff like Twilight Zone. They're not like interconnected in any, any way. Final Fantasy. Sometimes they have references to each other. Though. Series. Final yeah. Fantasy is an anthology series. Yeah, and it's yeah. Thank you. I don't know. Like, you know me. I I like weird shit, and and I like weird shit. <laughs> oh, I, the, the sh yeah, but then again, our I like tastes weird shit are with mostly purpose. different. I like weird shit for like that that explores like that is imaginative. I like weird shit that's imaginative. <laughs> I like it, I like them to care about the previous imaginative weird shit that they did. Hey, Majora's here. Let's play a song for him. Oh, you're not you're not gonna go Majora's maskless and try to beat him without with just <laughs> like you did. What that do one you time. want, Jack? <laughs> do you want me to do that? Why are you being so aggressive to me today? You're the one being aggressive to me. Yeah. I wouldn't have said that. I was gonna be nice, and then you just were like ragging me about my idea for like a fucking. But it's like, like a... it's like the first Majora playthrough when we were just shitty. We were just talking shit to each other the ti entire time through this final fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is our dynamic. We're just we're, we're just uh, peep, we're just completely assholes to each other for no reason. Can't we, we are, this we are is why we stopped caring about the timeline after Skyward Sword. It was breaking friendships apart. <laughs> we are friends in real life, I swear. Like, like outside of streams, we we actually get along very well. It's it's not a, it's not it's a, just a <laughs> it's not like uh, Matt and Pat from uh, from Super Best Friends that apparently I doubt. Were they? You think they were ever friends? Because they I, said I don't that they know broke enough about them. Darian, did you watch uh, Best Friends? I've Super seen Best a, I've seen a few of their videos. Yeah, they they were like they started off like not being friends when they when they like worked with each other and they became friends and then they stopped uh, the series because they uh, they stopped being friends and I was like wondering, do you think they were ever really friends at all? That sounds like a great business model is to have a channel called Super Best Friends and you're just like strictly business partners. Yeah. <laughs> God, Fierce Deity is so much stronger than Majora. It's not even funny. Well, uh, the thing about that is, uh, ironically enough, uh, they split. Yeah. <laughs> they, they split. They're done. Yeah, that's yeah, what he was I know. referencing. I, yeah, they, they stopped being friends, and then, they, then, then the series just... Yeah. They stopped doing the series and stuff. They never finished, uh... They never played Blaz Blue seriously. They never played Smash Brothers seriously. They never, uh, they never finished Kingdom Hearts. We never finished Kingdom Hearts. Yep. <laughs> oh, we did, did we? Yeah. We left off on two. I think I have it in, like, an emulatable state with our save data now. But it's not Epic Games. We could just do, oh, we could do either one. You said you wanted to get, like, the PC version, and then that, that yeah. kind of never happened. I get distracted easily, I'm sorry. I'm I'm the Bob Eisner of streamers. <laughs> There's also like it's they're really long grindy RPG games too. So yeah, and we've already played Zelda like uh, is our uh, main that's long. That's why I kind of make them a low priority among the games we do. Yeah. Games I'm thinking about starting next are uh, Sly Three, Ratchet Four, or well now Breath of the Wild is an, an option. Yeah, we're, we're never gonna fucking finish that. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, you could. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Especially, it depends. Do you want to do 100% or do you want to just no. get... Okay. <laughs> I'm, curi probably... I'm curious how the like the game loop works. I want to see if there's, like, if we can do some stuff on stream and then I can do a bunch of stuff off stream, maybe. Mm. Yeah, that's possible. Dawn of a new day.
So yeah, that's so, hey, we beat the, we beat the game. Yeah, we did it. Yay. How long was it? Has this been going on? Uh, this was about an hour. So uh, okay. What was it? We did like three hours, three hours, four hours. So about eleven hours, I think. I, I thought this like would go way faster because this I, again I set this to like super speedy settings was the idea. Yeah, I think the reason and, why and to explain my where I'm coming from, I don't, I know you probably will disagree with me regardless. The, the reason why I think that uh, Zelda would work better with an anthology, not semi anthology, you have the same character of Link and then. Maybe you reference Zelda in a few games, but the reason why I think it would work better as an anthology is because Majora's Mask, I think, is is the game that is the best of like of like the the, the genre, and and it's the one is the game which doesn't have Zelda or Ganon or the Master Sword in it, and that is really telling to me how much I think. Yes, wouldn't that make it even less of an anthology series if it doesn't use the themes that are the only things connecting it to the other games? I think that they, that if it's not connected by continuity and it's not connected by any of the things in the game, then what is it connected by? I think what I'm what I'm trying to say is that I just wish that they wouldn't harp on like Ganon as like the main boss and then the Master Sword as the MacGuffin. And you I agree with that. that. Yeah, that and because the, the I feel like if you're saying that Twilight Princess is like is like uh, is like really good and how much of it how much of it involves Ganon? You can spoil me. How much of it involves Ganon? You mean Skyward Sword? Yeah. That's uh, what I meant. The, the whole thing, technically. Kind of. Okay. okay. Yeah. It... Yeah. Uh, I just... It's also it, it's also kind of not Ganon, though. <laughs> like, do you not, do you not know the story just, 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 of Skyward just Sword? Give it to him, just, just um, give it to him straight. It's a prologue for the entire thing, so I guess it's, it's an how origin Ganon story of be. like everything in the series. Yeah, like it, Ganon, uh, Zelda, and the whole reincarnation cycle, the Master Sword, all of that is like Skyward Sword. Yeah, see, that's that's something interesting with the with the with the format. Just don't. I guess if that's the case, I don't like people Mike loving their shit. Then. Don't fuck with the formula. Fuck with the formula. I, I agree. You're making a different argument to when we started. Is this whole video just going to be us arguing about the <laughs> Zelda series? This is all, <laughs> dude. The our entire our entire like uh, thing is just arguing with each other over like things. It's what makes it interesting. I have a way of seeing things. You have a different way of seeing things. If we both agree, it'd be a circle jerk, and that's no fun to watch. <laughs> like. It's not even like a bullshit marketplace of ideas where I where I'm taking like an obviously wrong position or either one of us are. We just this is also about subjective media. It's anyway. What, what were you gonna, gonna I don't say? Remember if I mentioned this in the uh, in the randomizer streams, but uh, apparently it's it's possible that this could be on Archipelago before the Majora randomizer. <laughs> How? Because of the languages they're coded in, makes it like okay. easier to to work with Archipelago. Mm. Which just this sounds like a nightmare to have like a player doing this and someone else in I don't know fucking Minecraft. Mm. Okay, is this and then somebody else plays Link to the Past uh, Super Metroid randomizer? Yeah, that is one of them. Oh, that'd be <laughs> weird. I hope that we can get Archipelago working for uh, the winter. Ocarina. We can do Ocarina like Link to the Past. A few different games. Yeah. Well, if they get if they get Majora's Mask working, we could do Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask separately. Because that Ar Archipelago isn't that the one that because uh, you showed me doesn't that also have uh, Final Fantasy One randomizer? It does have Final Fantasy. I don't think it had any Castlevania games. Because I'd be down for doing the Final Fantasy randomizer. How long would that take? Though compared to like our like our two games, yeah, that's another one that I would have to be really careful about having like easy settings to do. Yeah, we're both not familiar with the. It's with also the... like you mentioned Ocarina and Majora. Who else but me knows the games well enough to do like a full randomizer of them? Right. I could do Final Fantasy just because uh, the first one is so basic and streamlined and yeah. bare bones compared to the other ones it's not terrible it's also like if we're doing something like that i would want everyone to be able to uh 
record their screens. Because there's no right. point doing it if we can't have it, like, all on screen. Easy for me. I can do that. <clears throat> so that was, uh, that was Majora's Mask. Yep. We, we spent the latter part of it, like, uh, shattering as a unit. I, I, I don't think I'd stream this again unless there was like a huge update in some way that like changed everything. Yeah. But uh, I, I, might play, I might play. I might play this kind of randomizer for fun. Interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't think it. It's. I didn't think it was gonna go that fast. I thought, man, putting two games together and making it a randomizer. I thought it was gonna go much longer than that. Imagine this, but with all of the checks in both games. Like they have, like all the rupees scrambleable in both versions now. Oh boy! Like all yeah. spiders, all fairies. Uh man, that. I've been oh, playing the same randomizer seed for fairies, a month, dude. The fairies, the skull. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't know if I could do that with all the fairies and the skull tokens getting switched around. Oh no! no you couldn't. No, you couldn't. I, I want to see a, a somebody do that, though. Do some extra shit like that Ganon's castle takes 100 spider tokens. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that a thing? That's that, an option? That is an the option you can run. do. Actually, that'd be kind of interesting. Like, go out of your way to find the most painful randomizer <laughs> settings possible. If, if, this, if this were a channel that, like, did nothing but randomizers, I would consider doing that. If this was a channel that was into like being uh being like uh, masochists, we could do that. We're and then what you call it the Majora's Masochist stream. Majora's Masochist. If we were doing a charity stream, if we were big enough to do charity streams, that would be a thing that we could do. Just yeah. To uh, keep the charity going. Like I joke, but it probably still wouldn't take as long as Skyward Sword did. Eight hour yeah. stream. Also, I just I don't have any energy for that kind of yeah. vlog. You, you did it for eight hours. I was fucking impressed. I I I lose it. I would lose energy. Yeah. Like I did like twelve hours for Crash Two. Was that the day you were playing that and I and I came you home went and you to were work still and playing? You came back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that you came back and you told me, hey, you know, it's the fastest way to do it is the slide jump. And I said, fucking thanks. I've been playing this for ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Didn't you say that Skyward Sword had a randomizer? I think it does. How? What? <laughs> what? It's... I don't even want to imagine doing that. I, that sounds like so much of a hassle. People complain about, mostly Vinny. Vinny complains about how linear Skyward Sword is. I still, I think it's less linear than Twilight Princess was. Yeah. Oh, um. Uh, there's a Kingdom Hearts randomizer. Yeah. They had to customize like a special hub world for it to work. A special hub world? Yeah, like there's a hub world that you can just go and you go into like doors, and then those doors would lead to uh to all the worlds and stuff. To they, do so the they randomizer. had to remove the gummy ship parts. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm cool with that. We can do that. <laughs> no, I'm good. Probably quicker than doing it casually. I wonder what. Let me look up Archipelago just to see what uh, what is in it now, if anything's been added. Archipelago.gg supported games. How would a Kingdom Hearts randomizer work? Adventure on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. <laughs> okay. That's, um... Blasphemous. Checks Finder. Oh, blasphemous. Which is like a knockoff Minesweeper. What? <laughs> Dark Souls oh, 3. Okay, I, I have that. I could do that. Donkey Kong 3. Hollow Knight. Hylix 2. Hi <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. I, I kind of want to do Dark, like, Dark Souls uh, for my end, and then... How how big is that though? Like how long would that take to find stuff in Dark Souls 3? 
Kingdom Hearts 2. Hey, Legend... Dark Souls 3 is a grindy fucking game. Legend of Zelda 1, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening DX. I've added some Zelda games. It depends on the on the equipment, honestly. If I get like high tier equipment from uh from Rain, then I'll have to run a Dark Souls randomizer like naturally on my end and see how that works. The Messenger, Minecraft, Noita. Over The Messenger too? Okay, Messenger would be would be fine. Wait, Overcooked? Isn't that a management game? Yeah. Pokemon Red and Blue. Rogue Legacy. Raft. Slay the Spire. The card game. Slay the Spire's a roguelike. That's already a fucking randomizer. Starcraft 2. Sonic Adventure <laughs> 2. Stardew Valley. Subnautica. Sudoku. <laughs> You gotta, oh man, you gotta play through Majora's Mask to unlock the, the one. Time Spinner, <laughs> Wargroove, The Witness. The, the wit isn't that just a fucking puzzle? I don't know how the fuck half of these games could possibly work with a randomizer, but they do. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, that was our, uh, that was our annual Majora's Mask stream, and, uh, Ocarina was also there helping out. That took longer than anticipated. I didn't mean for this to go four streams. Yeah. Should have gone three, but alas, here we, we are. We missed the one item that was under our nose at the time, because why yeah. wouldn't there be? I blame why Jack. <laughs> you blame me. I I, uh, I was the one who... Uh... What? Wait, what, what did I do? <laughs> wait, hold on. I'm, saying, I'm trying to think, because it sounds like joke. something I would do. No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm giving you shit. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was a, that was a one hour stream. That was that was relatively short, but uh, that's all we need to that's all we need for today. So yeah. uh, thank you guys for joining. We'll probably s either do Pokemon or start a new game next weekend, depending on how yeah. we, what we decide. Something uh, short, yeah. Something short and full of action. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>